the Shang. Back in the old day, ancient China ruled by clans that fight each other to conquer one another. There was a clan called the Shang, came to the power in the 17th century. Then they ruled a society along with an economy that built by skilled craftspeople and loyal farmers for 500 years. Trade and Currency Shang were in a business of trading goods and they had trade routes. Trade routes were used to connect them with faraway lands. Trade routes are found mainly around the Shang Dynasty capitals and around the major rivers, the Yellow River and the Yangtze or Shangjiang River. They have international trade between other countries. They trade jade, marble, porcelain, and wolf silk. They use the cowrie shells as a system of currency, which brought from Indian Ocean. Agriculture The Shang dynasty was prospered in agriculture with Lewis because it was situated around the Huanghe River. There were many farmers in the Shang dynasty. It was the biggest group in social class. These farmers have to work on the land they didn't own, harvest crop that they did not gain. Main crops were wheat, millet, rice, and barley. The land was either owned by nobles or the king. The farmers that grew crops only got the left over of the king or noble. The nobles also take goods and money from farmers for the king. The nobles also could put them to work on different royal projects like building irrigation, serving in the king's military, etc. The farmers used the tools that made of stone and wood. Since they are low class, Shang did not want them to use precious metals like bronze and iron. During this period, the Shang were a slave society. Slaves were put to farming, mining, and building. Specialized jobs. They were mainly focused on the making of jade, silk, and bronze items. Bronze workers were used to make bronze weapons. Most of the workers were farmers. Farmers and craftsmen used stone, wood, and bone tools to create sculptures and pottery. Craftspeople worked with bronze pottery, stone, jade, and silks to create a better city. Architect built Shang House from mud with a thin wood framework. They also designed tombs and palaces. Social Structure and Family Life The Chang Dynasty existed from 1600 to 1046 BCE. Ancient China was controlled by clans, or extended families, that often fought each other to protect their power over the different regions. When a clan became strong enough to control all others, it was considered a dynasty. The Chang from the re region of the Yellow River is an example of a clan that grew powerful enough to become a dynasty. The ruling class. At the head of a dynasty ruling class was a king. In the Chang Dynasty, the king lived in grand palaces built high on a platform in the royal cities. Kings spent most of their time at war with other clans. The king would allow his brothers or nephews to control smaller kingdoms within China for him. These men were also in line to inherit the throne if anything were to happen to the king. The Nobles the nobles were very important to the king because they provided weapons and foot soldiers for the military. Many served as chariot warriors and were renowned for their great warfare skills. In return for their service, the king enabled them to control their lands as they wished. Their days were spent directing the lives of the lower classes from grand palaces and hunt foxes and badgers. Artisans and Traders Artisans or craftspeople are skilled workers of bronze, stone, silk, etc. They made lots of beautiful decorations for the upper classes. There were clothes and accessories. Those bronze workers were making weapons for king's military. 
they were in the class below nobles. Traders and merchants, they were in the same class with artisans. These Shang traders were traded their goods using seashells and turtle shells from Shang Kingdom. Farmers, farmers of peasants were the class which has the largest number of people. The land that they grow crops were owned by nobles and king. The crops that were left were given to farmers to feed their families. The peasant class used simple tools such as wood and stone. They used those tools for growing crops such as rice, fruits and vegetables. Nobles can assign other works rather than farming for peasants. There could be building work or even military service. Slaves. Slaves were the lowest in Chang's class structure. Their role was to build the tombs and palaces for the upper classes. They were often sacrificed their lives for their masters. Kings and nobles were buried in tombs with their possessions, such as slaves and animals. The lower classes were buried in pits, which will be related to their class status. Family life. Each family class was led by the oldest male member. Children were punished if they disobeyed their parents. If one member of the family did something wrong, that could lead to the whole family members get punished.